sick of this kid anymore. The Lakers for the truth and freedom and these criminals. Last Thursday, the House voted to go to a full vote to start the date in the next month to audit the private Federal Reserve. The criminals that are pushing this global carbon tax, the Federal Reserve's only one arm of a European private banking syndicate. Here's U.S. News & World Report. Ron Paul Fed provision passes House Financial Services Committee. I mean, where's the champagne? I said Friday we should pop champagne. That's it. I'm buying champagne after the show. I don't even really drink, but I mean, this this is bubbly time. In fact, we ought to send Burmas out before he does his show live, so at the end of my show, I can have a glass of champagne. We'll get one bottle. All of us in the crew will have one glass. I mean, this, in fact, get me champagne. I'm going to drink a glass of champagne on air because we're not out of the woods. We haven't won the fight yet, but we're hitting on all cylinders. Victory, victory, victory. Rush Limbaugh comes out Friday, calls Al Gore a crook, admits it's all a scam by the New World Order to have global carbon taxes. But we're hitting on all cylinders. Victory, victory, victory. Rush Limbaugh comes out Friday, calls Al Gore a crook, admits it's all a scam by the New World Order to have global carbon taxes, covers our story about how uh, Al Gore's photoshopping fake documents. And now the Associated Press, Reuters, BBC, Washington Post, they're all having to report that the internal emails between the UN and the University of East Anglia, their main research body, the Climate Research Unit, the leading global research center on climate change, who've been accused of creating fake data, and over and over again it's been found that what they claim uh, from global weather stations, that they're saying it's hotter than what scientists and, and other universities and research firms go to those other universities and actually get their, their, their temperature records, and it's not what these universities, not just East Anglia, but others are saying. See, they've been caught over and over again. But now they could say, oh, we made a mistake. No, now we have them where they're openly colluding, where they're openly manufacturing it. In one leaked email, the research center director, Phil Jones, writes to colleagues about graphs showing climate statistics of the last millennium. He alludes to a technique used by fellow scientists to hide the decline. That's a quote. Hide the decline in recent global temperatures. See, this is like... All of those, remember 100 years ago, Piltdown Man and all those other cases where they would find a pig jaw and put fake teeth in it? 